I didn't expect it to happen. I participated based on a advice from EPFL, but I never thought I would have stand a chance to win because already I felt we are a type of old technology. And of course, when, when I was looking here at all the exhibitions, I thought, wow, what a big and high tech, you know, quantum computers and space technology. And I thought, no chance for us, but nice to participate. That was my thinking. And then the surprise. So and then the big surprise. Tell me more about this technology. It would be very helpful to have these data in the outside world. So the spring is enclosed somewhere in a machine or in a power plant. And you do not know whether it works fine. Of course, we produce springs to the highest standards. Nevertheless, you don't know whether it has been designed correctly or whether the application put more stress on the spring than you thought so. So the idea is, and for this you need digitization and then transforming the data and sending the data. The idea is to combine sensing technology, storing the data, and then transmitting it, transmitting it with lowest energy to the outside world, what happened to the spring. How much stress did it perceive? How many cycles did it go so that the spring can, quote unquote, speak to you and say, I lost 2% of my power and it's another three months until I'm going to fail based on the current stress. And by this, you as a user of the machine with the spring, you then can exchange the spring instead of waiting for a catastrophic failure. That's the idea. Digitization, miniaturization and transmit to the outside world. So you just won the digital journey contest. How are you going to make the most of this collaboration with uh, CSEM and the support? So um, we are expert in spring technology, but by far not in digitization, miniaturization. So for the strain gauge, we will need them. Then for the transmitting of the data to the outside world on low energy, then for energy probably harvesting, we are still discussing that, and energy storing, we need them, and then to process that. So I said it in the wrong way, so let me put it, stress um, detection, sensoring, then storing the values, calculating them, and then sending them to the outside world. For all these four items, we are no expert, and we strongly need the help from CSEM because we know they can do it and we by far cannot do it. We are a classical man manufacturer and mechanical company with 65 people, so we know how to build manufacture springs, but we don't know nothing more or less about digitization, etc. all these challenges there. It's going to be a big boost for your company. Yeah. What are your hopes for the future, looking forward? So my hopes are with this, I can bring spring technology for my customers to the next level. So not only building the, or trying to build the perfect spring for him, but also a spring which tells my customer, how am I behaving as a spring? Did I have too much stress? Am I gonna fail in four months, etc.? So, and with this giving more reliability and availability to the machine of my customer, whether it's a power plant, or a textile machine, or an electric motor, or whatever. That's the idea behind that. And as I said, I mean, the springs, a classical spring is in the size between that and very small. And so I cannot apply an electronic which weights two kilograms. I, didn't, I need an electronic which probably weights one gram or half a gram. I'm not able to do that. I'm able to tell you the formula for spring design, for stress calculation, but not all these miniaturization. And that's where CSM is the master for sure.